Hello students, I am Dr. Tanumay Vishwash and welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecule. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ and the question is in front of you. I request you students please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. I believe you have tried, so let me start. Now if you look at this reaction, it's a polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon. Here three benzene rings are fused together. It's react with either bromine in carbon tetrachloride or heat or bromine FeBr3 both result in the same product. You have to find out what is the product. By the way, this reaction, if you look at bromine, if you in all case the bromine attached. So this is aromatic electrophilic substitution. And we know for this aromatic electrophilic substitution, I mean bromination, some Lewis acid needed. In the iron case, you can see this iron bromide case, that iron 3 plus is acting as a Lewis acid. But in this first one, no Lewis acid is needed. The supplied heat is capable to carry out the reaction. Why? Because these three benzene rings are fused together. So this molecule is electron rich and you can consider that this uh, phenanthrin is activated for aromatic electrophilic substitution. Now the question, where the reaction will happen? For that purpose, you need to know the partial bond fixation concept of phenanthrin. If you look at this main structure which is provided in the problem, let's consider structure A. So you can see in this four structure, what we have done, just pose either resonance of this one or three or both one and three or both two, all are done. So in this way, you can see four structure. I mean, structure one, two, here this three, I mean A and four. You can see here that the position of double bond is fixed here. Agree. Only in structure uh, this 5 it is changed. So from there we can conclude since majority of the canonical form have double bond here. So the probability of fixation of double bond is more here. So double bond is fixed here. So reactivity is expected to happen from this side. Not only that, if you do the reaction, I mean if you form the sigma complex for aromatic electrophilic substitution. So this bond will let's consider react with the bromine plus or delta so if you react this it will produce br plus febr4 minus or if you think react with this bromine in carbon tetrachloride bromine bromine bond will be polarized and this delta br plus will act as the electrophile whatever it is it will react now it will this bromine will attach here and the positive charge will appear here rest of the things are by the way, if you look at this positive charge, this positive charge looks like it is benzylic. Means it is conjugated with con conjugation with this benzene ring. So it is stabilized. Fine. So in next step, what is happened? This proton will be consumed, this bond will go and it will ultimately result the bromination product here. By the way, these two positions, either this one and this one same. So it doesn't matter what the reaction is happening, ultimate product is same. Now, if you ask why, sir, this reaction happens here, because as I told this double bond is fixed here, the electron density as the double bond is more here. Another thing, if you do the reaction here, I mean, in this case of this sigma complex, in this sigma complex preparation, the loss of Re is minimum. What do I mean? Phenanthrene resonance energy is 92 kilocalorie per mole. Now, if you make this sigma complex, two benzene ring are still intact. So it means the Re of this two benzene ring is 36 multiplied by 272. I am giving a rough estimation, kilocalorie per mole. So this is 72. How much loss? It is nearly 20 kilocalorie loss. But if you do the reaction at this ring, then what is remaining? One naphthalene uh, ring. So in that case, the resonance energy of that naphthalene system is 61 kilocalorie per mole. So how much is the loss of resonance energy? 92 minus 61. So it is nearly 31 kilocalorie per mole. So more amount of resonance energy loss will be there if reaction happens in this ring or this ring, anyone, both case same. So energy of activation for this pathway will be pretty higher compared to this pathway. So reaction will happen on this way. So this is the product. So I guess you have understood why the reaction happens here. Why not on this ring? By the way, if I say this ring, then this is position 
so you can understand this position this position or this position if the reaction doesn't preferentially happen from this ring it doesn't matter why it happens so reaction will happen at this position and remember this concept this is called partial double bond fixation in phenyl ring by the way if you this is another example if you do oxidation of this phenyl ring nucleus where the oxidation is expected to happen for example here so this double bond you may consider behaves similar like isolated alkyl type i will say not exactly same alkene type why because if this double bond undergo any kinds of reaction loss of resonance energy is minimum so this is isolated alkene type or you may consider this double bond is more reactive for oxidation or aromatic electrophilic substitution so this is the overall discussion for today i believe this video may be useful thanks for watching see you in my next video bye bye